Hi, my name is Miguel from AvoidErrors.net. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install Windows 8 virtually so you can have a taste of the future operating system. Now, to install this, you're going to need two things. One is a virtual box here that is actually free, the link is in the description box, and the ISO image of Windows 8. Now, the link is also in the description box. You can download the 64 bit or the 32 bit. Keep in mind this is a 3.6 gigabyte or 2.8 so it will last a little while to download. Now once you have installed and configured the uh, virtual box you just have to click on new and then click next on the wizard and in the version click on the drop down box and select Windows 8 depending on which version you have. This one is a 32 or 64. I have the 64 so I'll select this one and then name it. I'm gonna call it Windows 8 and then click Next. Now here the default is 1.5 gigs. I'm gonna increase this to a 2 gigs. It doesn't mean that it's gonna use the 2 gigs. It's, it means that it's gonna use up to 2 gigs and click Next. Now here I'm going to leave it default, create a new hard disk, click next. The same here, I'm going to leave it default, virtual disk image, click next. Instead of dynamic allocated, I'm going to select fixed size. Dynamic means you can change the size of the hard drive. Fix you can't. And then click next. Here I'm going to leave this, the uh, size 20 gigs, default the same, but now the location since my hard drive is small, you can leave it in the default location if you have a big hard drive. If not, click on the little folder and select a different location like I'm doing here. I'm going to install it on a different drive in my computer. Remember if you have a big hard drive, you can always leave it in the default location and click next. I selected a different drive and then click next my summary and then click create this will take around half hour 45 minutes so I'm gonna fast forward this here this is uh, creating the uh, fixed uh, hard drive summary again now click create and now our Windows 8 virtual machine is created just double click or select it and click on start and here in the first uh, run wizard click next now the media source is the ISO so don't forget the uh, location of the ISO when you download it click on the little folder and browse for the ISO double click and then click next and then click on start loading files I'm just gonna click OK to this warning here and here we are now click next to install the um, Windows 8 click on install now this is almost like uh, Windows 7 except maybe identical the license term and agreement and then click next select custom advanced now this is the uh, 20 gig hard drive that we virtually created remember select it and then click next and it's going to copy the files expand inst uh, install features etc and then it's going to restart remember once it restart don't click or press any key to boot from the CD just let it run it's going to run the setup now I'm going to fast forward this a little bit but at least I left it there so you can see what your virtual machine is going to go through it's going to restart remember not to press any key just let it run
perfect it's installed now here it, this should be easy just fill in the blanks plug in your live ID account if you don't have one just click don't want to log in with my Windows Live ID and that's it and here's a little preview of the Windows 8 now uh, when you shut down the uh, virtual machine you have to disable the boot from ISO and here are the instructions right click on the virtual machine Windows 8 and click on settings now click on storage and select the IDE controller Windows developer preview and click on this icon to remove it click remove and click OK that way when you start the uh, virtual machine it doesn't want to you know reinstall the the, the uh, uh, Windows 8 developer preview again it'll just boot from the heart from the uh, virtual hard drive thank you for watching this video my name is Miguel if you have any questions please feel free to post them in the comment section below thank you